How did you find out your parent was a sex worker? My mom wasn't in sex work anymore when I was born, but she raised my older brother on money she got as a stripper. She worked customer service jobs my entire life. When I was seven or eight, I went to go do something on the family computer and I saw a Facebook message she sent to her friend referencing her days as a dancer. I was so excited upon reading this and confronted my mom, thinking she was a ballerina or something. She explained to me in the most age-appropriate terms she could that she was a stripper. Of course, she didn't go into all the details until I was older. Sounds like she did what she thought she needed to do to climb the ladder and give y'all a better life. Oh, I agree completely. Never once did I think she was a bad mom or that she made a bad choice. She did what she had to do. My mom was a stripper trying to raise four kids. She would work nights. I would see strange outfits and shoes in her closet and her work bag. Everything smelt strongly of cigarettes. I watched the movie Independence Day where Will Smith's wife was an exotic dancer and somehow figured out what that was. One morning, her and I were sitting at the kitchen table together eating breakfast. I was in fourth grade and I asked her what her job was. She looked at me funny and I continued by asking her if she was a stripper. She asked me why I thought that and I explained everything I listed above. She then confirmed my suspicions and thought my dad, her ex-husband, spilled the beans to me. I assured her that I assured her that, that was not the case and she asked me never to tell her tell my three brothers. I never did. She eventually got out of this line of work and is now very successful. I'm proud of her and although I used to resent her for some of her choices, I understand now she did what she could to do to take care of her kids. OMG, I think my first stepmother was a prostitute. My father picked her up when she was hitching a road with a toddler in her arms, and she had sex with him to thank him, supposedly. Not sure where he picked her up, but her apartment was an easy walking distance to the main prostitution strip in Phoenix, and she used to say my father rescued her, which I always thought was rescued her from being a single parent. She was 23 at the time. My father was about 10 years older than her. She had two kids from two other men, told me about when she was gang raped once and left naked in public and drank a lot. She was married to my father for about 10 months. Around month eight, she got a job as a bartender at a seedy bar for a couple months. But my father kicked her out of the house and then she tried to give him her oldest son. During that time, my father told me she had caught the clap and another time said if I didn't do him, he would go see her so that she would. How is that I never put this together before? After two plus decades of denial, it just is what it is. My mom was an addict, so was my dad. They split up and he was homeless. Mom was on welfare and dumpster died for cash and was always broke. Looking back, I'm pretty sure she started turning tricks when I was around 12-ish. She got dressed up and would disappear at night, leaving me alone. Later, we moved closer to my grandmother, who rented a house for us, and my heroin addict aunt shortly because we found out Gamma had lung cancer. Some other people moved in. I'd go in my mom's room for something and pretty quickly just stopped going anywhere near her room. I found sex toys, porn, VHSs, and some latex up a couple times. A couple times, walked in on a friend of hers, naked in her bed with a hard-on watching porn in her room once when I was looking for her. I locked it away in that place that kids lock stuff away to forget so they can keep looking up and loving their parents like the fucked up shit never happened. Eventually, mom got a room in a shitty motel some miles away and just spent more and more time there. Sometimes I'd only see her once or twice a week. When she was home, it was usually long enough to bring me a couple gas station burgers. She said it was to get away from the madness at the house and to be closer to work. I never asked what work. Deep down, I think I knew, but denial is a beautiful thing when you're 13. Was convinced myself it was some store and she was more than happy to let me believe it. Eventually, Gamma finally stopped suffering and dad decided to try to get his shit together and I moved with him to the original town Gamma moved us away from. Saw mom all of maybe twice in about a year. Dad did not, in fact, get his shit together, and I got shipped to Texas to live with an alcoholic aunt when I was 16. Mom and I stayed in a very loose contact 
and talk maybe on a couple of holidays. I saw her once when alcoholic aunt shipped me back home for a week and I stayed with mom in that goddamn hotel. Again, she'd disappear at night. One time I picked up the phone thinking it might be her, but it was some guy. When I told him I was her daughter and I could take a message, he asked if I was into some mother slash daughter stuff, laughed and hung up. The strung out voice literally haunts my nightmares. Now I'm 40, mom and I aren't close, but we're better than it was. She went to rehab and moved to her dream state and she lives in the Rockies. She's still clean, doing well. She had a little life and is comfortable. We text now and again, send some pictures, and I'll update her on my life if something big happens. I've even seen her twice. Once, I went to her when I was 34, I think. It was a nice visit, and neither of us attempted to talk about the past. I think we were both nervous of the other. Then she came to me a few years ago for my wedding. Man, this is so fucked up. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Some people just don't deserve children. Mom absolutely should have been child free. I know she had two abortions. One was before me. If I had to guess, the only reason why I'm here is because of my dad. I'm convinced I would have been an abortion otherwise. I have a great life now. I'm married to an incredible man and happier than I've ever been for the first time in my life. I'm content and child free as fuck. But I'd be lying if I said I was glad my mom didn't get her away. But I'd be lying if I said I was glad my mom didn't get her way. My shit sounds like about 5% as harsh as yours. But isn't it the strangest thing to realize as an adult that your parents had no business reproducing? I feel like as a matter of statistics, most, ki most kids born in my position would be dead or worse by the time I got where I am presently. It's the strangest way to feel about your parents. I totally agree. I never took that path and ended up in a law enforcement as a correctional officer for 14 years. I had never even tried weed until last year. I quit that job finally and I'm in the cons and I'm in construction which I freaking love. It's a field I wanted to go into for 20 years. And trauma isn't a contest my darling. Don't let anyone else's traumas invalidate your own. Someone might have had it worse, but that doesn't mean you might not have had gone through hell because it wasn't as bad. I hope you get to live the life that you want and remember, happiness is a moment in time. Chase it, but it's not the end goal. Contentment is far harder to find and so much easier to keep. I wish you contentment, my friend. My mom somehow had heaps of money before I was born, but had no work history and had an older gentleman friend buy her a house after my parents split. I finally got curious one day as a teen and asked if she was a sex worker, as it was the only thing that explained all this. She flipped out at me for finding out and went apeshit at my dad for telling me. He didn't. He was actually horrified I worked it out as the agreement between my parents was that I was to never know. This was 17 years ago and our relationship is still strained because she thinks I'm judging her and that I think I'm better than her when I really don't care that she used to do sex work. Apparently, once she got drunk and called my grandmother on my dad's side, but she was still with dad and abused her for judging as well. When like my grandmother had no idea about my mom's profession. I was raised by my grandparents on my dad's side because my mom was an addict and a prostitute. My dad was an addict who was in prison my whole childhood. I found out my mother was a prostitute when I was probably 13 or 14. When I got into a bad argument with my grandmother and she blurted it out. I took it surprisingly well for my age, but mainly because I barely had a relationship with her and already knew she was an addict, so it didn't catch me too off guard. My mom took me to those my mom took me to those places up until I was 3 when my dad found out. My mom took me to those places up until I was 3 when my dad found out. I tried to suck his cock and when he asked me where I learned that, I told him that I was working like mommy. He filed for emergency custody and there was a police investigation and it turns out I was being sold out too. I didn't have any memories of it, but I started having night terrors when I was two and I think it might be related. My dad told me about all of it when I was 12. He sat me down and told me everything. 
I'm also in a couple of pornos on the internet, but the originals have been taken down, and I don't wish to look at the videos or see them. Wow, what a sad as fuck story. I hope you are getting care to deal with the past trauma. I'm sorry that someone who should have protected you would put you in that situation. It actually took six months before my dad was able to get custody. My dad had a bunch of evidence against her, but the judge favored my mom, and she made it seem like he was a deadbeat looking for child support money, which is what she was doing. But my mom was always a gold digger, and I knew that. I had two siblings. I had two siblings without a dad because she's a baby trapper and is trying to get child support to spend on herself. She had visitation with me, and I had a room with a jar of money I saved from Christmas, birthdays, tooth fairy, etc. Over the course of 10 years, I saved up $250 for college, and when I got back one day for visitation, it was all gone. Guess who got themselves a new Michael Kors purse? I confronted her about it, and she said I had no money in there to begin with. It just clicked randomly one day when I was a teen that the epiphany wasn't life-changing enough to remember when or how. I never did question the rotating boyfriends my mom had in my life. Despite being married to my dad the whole time and the magically appearing wads of cash, you get used to it if it's the only thing you knew. My siblings found out through me as teens giving background. My mom is incredibly anti-sex anything and a terrible mother, but has her heart in the right place background. Mother is the typical mail order bride story. Started working as a child. Dad was good to her at the start, but gambling addiction took over and he forced her back into it. My younger half siblings came from after all of that, so they never witnessed it. She has a lot of issues not stemming from sex work itself, but conditions that led her there.